Sorry about that. Just using the bathroom real quick, and yeah, I ended up a little. I ended up. I ended up two minutes late. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, oh. Okay. But all right. So, welcome back to stream, everybody. I uh, hope you're all having a fantastic Saturday or whatever day is for you right now. And uh, you know the drill. It's uh, last stream of the week. We've been working on uh, death and taxes, having a good time with it. It's been pretty fun. Nice little light novel where we uh, d decide whether people live or die. And hopefully this is our second, this second run will be good and we will not get some sort of apocalypse. And there's also quite a bit of me hoping that there is more content even after a new game, a first new game plus. I'd like, I'd like to see if there's even more afterwards. And if there is, then that'll be great. Because I do, I do like this game. It's very much like Papers, Please. It's just that so far there's a lot less... There seems like there's a lot less content than Papers, but if there turns out to be a lot of content, even after a second playthrough, then that's just great. So uh, let's try and get into the game real quick here. Since I was a little late, I always get a kick out of Tub Tub Spinning. It is such a good GIF. It's so unbelievable how perfect the GIF is. And I cannot believe my stupid ass randomly came across, like, visual settings in uh, Dream Software that makes it not look like a ghost. <laughs> like, I, I was so I was upset at first when I was like, wait a minute, is this not usable? But then it was, and it's perfect. It's fucking perfect. Serving all my brain power for the three letters I'm replying to this afternoon? Very nice. Oh my god, I could just use this this the whole time? Wow, I feel dumb. Well. What new thing did we get? I don't know. Oh, we got that new hat! Oh, shit. I forgot about the hats. Oh, and I love- I love that the avatar changes. Very nice. I almost said brown power, which also works. Yo ho ho! <laughs> what can old Mortimer provide ye with today? Uh. I like the black cap. I like it too. I think it looks pretty snazzy. Oh, right, I forgot. I need to fucking lean forward in this game. Hold on. Okay, all right. Hello, Grim. Today is simple, Grim. It is as if a great calmness has enveloped the world. I do not see the need for many deaths for today. All right. Why am I not getting any symbols on that? Detective Gord Splitkins, the pumpkin detective. Not a riff, I just made it up. <laughs> right. Daily Moon. Look at this complete idiot farmer who got crushed by their own tractor. <laughs> Pro News. Managing editor of the Daily Moon drowns after caught stalking and harassing offspring of local crime boss. Body of teacher found in a ravine after they went out to search for the existence of extraterrestrial life. Unknown mascot struck dead by lightning in the middle of the day, stadium officials confused. Another serial killer caught by Detective Samara L. Downey. Yeah, I knew we need to keep the detective alive. So, we only need to kill two, so there's a good chance we can keep a good number of people alive that we want. Mbali Sefu Nun. I am obsessed with religion. Move to the nunnery as soon as they turn 13. They give themselves a good whipping as punishment. Oh my god. So if we let them live, it's minus health plus. Yvette Freminda, Minister. Yvette has taken upon themselves a great set of responsibilities in, the field, in a field they lack knowledge of. Those decisions that matter, Yvette tend to fumble gloriously. Yet they do try to better themselves according to criticism from the public, even though they don't understand most of that either. I mean, that's a good spirit, but also she's a liar. I'll have none of that, thanks. 
fucking indica over there. <laughs> that game is so fucking weird. Feels very, very East European. Titus Grown. Retired. Uh, you're 33 and retired? Titus is the latest heir of a noble pedigree. As such, they managed to retire young due to all the inherited wealth. These days, they spend their time lounging listlessly in constant ennui. I don't know what the fuck that means. Daiju Agawa, event organizer. Daiju has been involved in organizing just over 200 events, including another anything from tacky-themed weddings to experimental VIP live architecture exhibitions inside ancient tombs. Now Daiju focuses solely on throwing fundraising galas for the moderately rich to save the planet. Oh. Him dying is bad. So he's currently organizing things to save the planet. This woman living... Right, right. Every time Binyat uploads, I'm like, is it Astrobot? Well, now, we, we also can watch the squirrel game, because that's... That, that's also funny. But yeah, like, where's the... We need Astropod. Hey, yo. Hey, CJ. Pro game is so Ivana. Yeah. Pretty funny. It's always funny to me when people do um, animal textures in video games that are, like, way too fluffy, because it's like... If you ever see animals in real life, like, let... I'm gonna be real here. Animals are greasy. Okay? I'm just gonna be real with you. Animals are greasy. They are not ludicrously overly fluffy. Even long-haired cats, you're gonna pet them, and you're gonna f they're gonna feel a bit greasy. That's just how animals are. That's just how it is. Like that silky, greasy, smooth feeling when you pet an animal. That is that is just the way it is. They are greasy. That's just what humans have to live with. So this lady is fucking incompetent, but she's not evil. This lady is just, like, I don't know. He's just a weirdo. Letting her live is a positive and a negative. This guy is just, like, a dickhead. So, like, I don't know. Fine for him to die. Yeah, plus wealth, plus peace, you know? I really don't want to kill this guy. Oh, wait, no, we do get wealth from him living. Or from him dying. Find this environment, the last... Last time we were here, we had high environment and lost too much of everything else. Maybe we need stuff that uh, helps... I, what I really want to, want to avoid is a health crisis, which is what led to the zombies, I think. So, you know what? I think that means this lady has to live. No, 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 no. She has to die. She has to die, actually, or else I'm going to lose health. Oh, just minus peace. Oh, God. Uh, yeah. Minus health plus everything else. God damn it. Minus wealth plus environment. Okay. Uh, that's all acceptable. Oh, hey! This one looks pretty good. Look at all these positives running around. Oh, I understand. I understand! The pluses here represent environment. The pluses here represent, um, health. This represents peace. No, no, this is health. This is peace. This is wealth. Okay. Wait, that means we're in the negatives on health. God damn it. That's... We're specifically trying to not do that. Ugh. Oh, well. We have positive and everything else, so... Oh, 
but I obeyed my assignment, so I should acquire a full a full payment. Grim. How was your break? Adequate. Now, let us not waste time and get on with it. Right. I see the exact amount of profiles requested. At least someone seems to be up to their task. Seems to be four endings to, endings to this game, and Psy, one of them involves talking to the mirror as much as possible and doing what it says. Then I guess we'll see. I guess if we don't get that one, we'll try to do that one. Oh, uh, whatever. Sorry if I offended you somehow. You? No, Grim. You have not. None of them involves goblin marriage. Zero out of ten. Game game is trash. Can't marry the the go the goblin tomboy woman who keeps flirting with us. What a nonsense game. Someone needs to make a dating sim just between, <laughs> just for that character, and mute, make it a mod. Make a mod for this game. I didn't spoil the endings for myself. I just looked at criteria. Oh, okay. Why am I livid? Because the rest of highest management thought it necessary to remind me that taking sudden leave is detrimental to. Our aspiration. Sword Splitkin's ex goblin bartender. <laughs> because they thought to admonish me for taking a couple of days to perform important research. Because, as was reminded, the saying goes no, how is it? Nothing in life is more certain than. Yes, exactly. Title drop. The nerve they have to lecture me on how to do my job. Say nothing. Uh, no matter, Grim. I apologize for taking it out on you. Good night. Um, I don't know if it's fair to say that fate is like evil. You know. Um, his plan is certainly very. Uh, it's it would if he were a human being he would be a he would be psychotic but he's like an abstract concept and so it's more like he just doesn't want to exist in his current state anymore if he can if he can help it but obviously we don't want him to destroy the world but I don't know if it's fair to call him like evil or anything. How much money? I think I got. I think I have 500. Can I buy anything for 500? Let's see. Mighty, tis an utmost pleasure. That's so easily as sucks. <laughs> I mean, that's often the same thing, but yes. Okay, let's go kill people, or not. We'll see. My modest excuses. Hold on. Right. The situation is that everything got jumbled up in our fax delivery system. You should listen to your gut today. <laughs> your gut, yes, because you are, you know, a skeleton. Toodles. So go with the flow. All right. Then I might not. Uh, I might kill almost nobody. No, people who are dumb little idiot nerd bitch made and was can can suck without being evil. <laughs> yeah. True. Going on on the new eco eco watch the week long gaming marathon raises over four million for the prevent for the Pre prevent ecological catastrophe organization. Okay, Economista Titus Titus last Titus last sent testament states all assets of their estate to be auctioned off, invested into a diverse section of firms and NGOs. Oh, well. Polito, Minister Farinda resigns from office after a scandal related to the pharmaceutical industry. Oops. Okay. So it says go with the flow. 
Right now we're positive on these three, but we're minus on public health, so let's not kill health officials. Terrence Hatchett, 63, retired novelist. For 40 years, Terry wrote charming, fantastical novels for youth and adults alike, up until their health began to deteriorate. They still try to write every day, but the process keeps getting more difficult. They've also made substantial donations to many health research trusts. Thank you. Harry A. Davis? No. <laughs> Substantial donations to any health research trust. Interesting. Don't kill Terry. Yeah, I, I, I'm thinking that I don't. Is this a reference to a novel, a novelist you know? Damien Watts, 42, geographer. Damien is a geomorphist. Geomorphologist researching a mysterious new series of mineral formations, appearing mostly in the tundra region. This phenomena is it exhibits a shimmer. They're often shaped like human arms. Damien is on the verge of a breakthrough. What was his name? <laughs> his name is Terence Hatchett, and he, they, uh, he's a novel writer who's grown old and slow with him. But he also donates places. Harry Pratchett. Aha, I see. So this guy living will give us less health, and we have a health... We already have negative in the health. So I'm, I think I might, I'm going to kill this guy, probably. because of, Mostly because of this thing of... These uh, mineral formations are shaped like human arms. Uh, I think we're going to kill this guy. Oh, God. Well... I don't think there's any reason to kill this man, so let's, uh... Yep, that was only positive. IRL Terry worked on Oblivion Mods. That's cool. Very cool. Oh, wait, oh, yeah, you told me about him, right? He's one of the two authors of, uh, oh, of, of uh, Good Omens, right? And... Or am I, or am I misremembering? Lawrence Oluwa, 26, organizer. Lawrence is one of the central... I'm remembering! Woo! Insert a moist critical meme. Lawrence is one of the central organizers behind canvassing for the re-election of popular politician Baron Sayender. When not engaged in political campaigning, Lawrence enjoys long bike rides and tending to their small garden. Died before you could see how woke the TV show became. Oh, well, that he that spared him. That spared him one terrible fate. See, death isn't so bad. Luigi! Mom! 36, forklift operator. Luigi is a revolutionary, a radical and avant-garde hero of the people, the ultimate underdog, vanguard of change, beloved by all. They love cruising around in their forklift at high speed. Him dying is peace, but minus wealth. Um... Luigi! Let's try having him live and see what happens. Oh, well, plus environment for some reason. Kathy Kowalski. 33, nurse. Born to migrant parents, Kathy was expected to go far, but never became a doctor. They toil long hours at the local hospital and love their job while not being gentle with needles around old patients who accidentally touch their, touch their butt. When not working, Kathy lives in a tiny apartment doing laundry, sleeping, and eating takeout. Uh, I don't really... I'm not gonna lie, like, if she gets sexually harassed, I don't really give a shit if she uh, misses with the needle once in a while. Like, I really don't care. What do you mean, minus environment? Fuck you. God damn it, game. Luigi and Alucard went to Kerbo's house for Christmas prayer. Luigi. <laughs> Luigi Mario is a good Christian, unlike his sinful. Ayo Adesina, 
62, Pig Farmer. Io has been herding pigs for 40 years, continuing the long line of pig farmers and their family. Io religiously wears their green boots every day, believing the touch of pig manure gives them lucky property. That's kind of weird, but you're a farmer. I don't see what the problem is. What do you fucking mean, minus environment? I was pig farm- <sighs> whatever. Neke Nekesa Iwikami, 19, Axe Thrower. Why is this name the sound I make when I see some- I was about to make a joke like that, and then I didn't. <laughs> because it's just- Like, oh yes, yeah, let's do the Zoomer Brain Rot Trash joke. Again. I should never hesitate. Always, always, no cap. Hella busted. Finna. Uh, axe thrower. Nekesa has never been particularly sporty, but is gaining fame in the axe throwing community. Their talent for this sport was discovered in a rather unfortunate circumstance when they threw an axe at a sheep thief 20 meters away and hit. They go out they got out of juvie only a few years ago. Based. Plus peace. <laughs> Oh, that's great. Become bald! Emiko Iwaoka. Iwaoka. Retired. Emiko worked hard their whole life, but when in retirement knocked, they switched to full fun and games mode. These days, they spend some time taking care of their garden, but mostly, most of their time is playing team-based online multiplayer shooters. I don't see it. I see no issue. Person, uh... Just a gamer. Iwaoka. Yeah, I was trying to say it correctly. Iwaoka. Kill them, they're scum. What? The gamers? What? Jackson P. Oh, you're making a wow pun. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> well, good thing she had said that she was playing uh, shooting games and not MMORPG. Or else there might be a problem. Okay, so Jackson P. Ortega, 32 Project Manager. Jackson just doesn't seem to get a break. They manage various projects, which all, some, which all somehow end up failing. They used to be married, but nothing lasts forever. Their pet goldfish died in one day. Their bike always seems to have a flat tire, and this is just the beginning. So, oh wow. Wow, shot game. Pen de please, them cute, c'est tout. DMC. Okay. So, the question with this guy here is do we put him out of his misery, or do we get, keep letting him live in hopes that his life improves? You know what? I feel like it's not up to me, but, it, like, if he wants... Well, actually, wait a minute. I love when Dante shows up, he's like, Dante! Yep. Yep. Uh, man. I suppose, so, Fate explained to us that these people are at this desk because they, they are in a scenario in which they could die. Um. Which means maybe right now he's a try he's considering suicide and that's what our decision of live or die is. What what if his misery causes accidents that Mr. Who's other people fortune? Well the thing about that is that it says here. Spills coffee on himself and stumbles. It knocks a woman walking her dog into a man and they become friends then marry. <laughs> You know, yeah. I mean, right here, like, we aren't we aren't really told that any of his misfortunes are, like, hurting other people. They're just, like, hurting himself. Like, his marriage didn't work out. His projects don't work out. But, like... Isn't exactly... There's, no, there's nothing here like, oh, he once hit somebody when driving. Oops, nope, that was only bad. We should have killed him. Fuck. Oh well. My eventual Mildrew children's book is Mr. Goop Magoo, but edgy. I think that's awesome. I think that's very cute. Is your hand tired? 
Are your fingers getting stiff? An erase? I didn't have an eraser. I'm pretty sure I didn't have an eraser. Uh, I don't understand. Clicking on what? On all the things you see scrolling by before your eyes. Perhaps the screen is too bright. The sound's too loud. Your hand tired, bro. What did you think I was doing? <laughs> Super weird. No weirder than your death. At least that got you here. To the office. Where you belong. Grim, welcome. You know, pursuing my art has given me insight. I have been thinking of humanity, of mortality, their importance, worth, and meaning. Are you just trying to convince yourself on the merits of your plan? Ah, yes. This <laughs> hypothetical plan of mine. Listen, <laughs> is death really such a bad thing? It would be better for everyone. In fact, do these humans even truly exist? Their ephemeral being leads to no relevant outcome. It is all transient, no matter what they do or achieve in life. Go on, I'll hear you out. They exist in a state of hubris and arrogance, considering them the center of the universe. Die purely from the way he says ephemeral. I, I immediately forgot how he pronounced it. Am I saying it correctly? Ephemeral? Should I be saying it ephemeral? <laughs> Oh, I did? Oh, wow. My memory is... I, rem <laughs> I remembered that author that I forgot what I last fucking thought of him saying ephemeral. <laughs> uh. Yet without them, the sun still sets and rises. Ephemeral. Stars explode. Oh, yeah, it's so weird. Form, or ephemeral. There are departments God, what the events. fuck? Humans are not the be-all, end-all pinnacle of creation. They are small and insignificant, yet full of themselves. The grandeur of everything will not get superseded by specks of nothing. I'm not sure that's fully accurate. It matters not how they live through their subjective experiences. Millions upon billions of them. Everyone considering themselves unique. And technically they are. I suppose, on a minor scale, yet also exceedingly similar. Copying each other, living through similar events with similar basic reactions. While the universe is full of endless wonders they cannot or not even experience or perceive, ever. But we could help them experience these things? But why? What would that change? Their presence is not even necessary to validate these events outside their subjective experience or understanding. Do you know the saying, Grim? If a tree falls in the forest and no one is around to hear it... Make a sound. Yes. Imagine that. Life reduced only to some human vicinity. The ultimate height of arrogance ingrained in them to imagine their presence to be paramount. The tree does not only sound, it has been sounding for a long time. It has grown without anyone present. It has lived a life. None of this requires humanity to be there to bear witness. I don't really agree with what you said. Then you have much yet to learn. Good night, Grim. Like, the humans have the right to live as much, just as much as the bees do. So, Grim Cape. 
This dark cape is a classic attire for any grim deeds. It's pleasantly warm while offering against while offering protection against wind and rain. You won't actually need, as you'll always be stuck at the office. I'll get it anyway. Is a true classic. See, me and me crew were sailing round the side polar terminus, freezing our nuts off, <laughs> blinding storms, icy blizzards. Them some ruthless times. <laughs> dog eat dog, they say, or pirates eat pirate more like. Got lucky to find a whole field of tundra cotton when we did. Made some cloaks to keep the bones warm. Much too warm nowadays, though. So you're more than welcome to it. Buy all items from the shop. All right. I want to go see this. We have a cape. We have capes now. Where are they in this section? Oh my god. Oh my god, these capes are fabulous. Ooh! Really wanted to eat cake for like the last week, but I can't. Are you sure you can't? These capes are interesting. God! <laughs> the cape of God! <laughs> That's funny. I'm gonna... <laughs> Why do one of the capes look like Gryffindor? Probably because it's a reference. We have very few incoming profiles for today. Something is quite amiss. Keep your wits about it. We'll see. One human must die. Environment is suffering right now. Detective Swiftkins is way too smart for the house. HB and Ravenclaw. Local pig. Local pig farmer breeds perfect pig, becomes millionaire. Is the, new, is the unluckiest person in Cosmopolis City cursed because of, of awful actions in their previous life? Nurse wins prestigious award. There's more to medicine than just doctor. Truth Explorer. Alien Blight covers land. No. Strange arm-shaped mineral formations disappear along with their researcher, Damien Watts. The Silver Fox's team pones young noobs, well, rarely... But it's fun to see the elderly in action. The loved author publishes new novel titled The Dance Macabre. Says it could be their last. Polito, Baron Sander leading in the polls by a wide mar margin. Alright. Miyu Terakawa. 21. Broiler Cook. You either grill or you broil. Those are the only two options for cooking food. Some people say there are other ways, but Miyu disagrees. But Miyu often disagrees about many things. It's in their antagonistic nature. They love board games, but for some reason, most people don't want to play with them. <laughs> Frederick Hoag, 58, Monk. Frederick spends all their days in the monastery writing manuscripts by hand. Although the printing press was invented centuries ago, they insist that texts written by hand are the most pure. They're both weirdos. Um, we'll kill the annoying guy. Plus health, plus peace. Let's let the monk live. Plus peace. Yep. Cool. And I don't know what to do to, like, uh, necessarily make a... Make everything happen the way we want it to. Maybe, maybe if there is a third playthrough we do, we um, we gotta go and like read. We gotta go like read a guide how to get the ending. Grim, I feel odd. I am confused, but I cannot figure out why. I seem to be expecting something, but what? do not really know. 
jitters about your novel? Ah, the novel. Yes. The anxiety of creativity might be taking its toll. Oh, bother. I must be getting tired. Mayhaps we should turn to our regular matters. Man, I'm confused about your shit-ass haircut. <laughs> yeah, his haircut has coiled shit on it. What a strange haircut. Or we, or we can skip it if... Um... Or we can skip it if you're not feeling up to it. Yeah. Does it really matter? I cannot tell anymore. I am not sure what I am supposed to do right now. So, uh, I guess that is it. Good night. I think this is completely weak dialogue that we have not received in the, the, the previous playthrough. So I think we're, we're on to something. I have the Bumblebee song stuck in your head. I, there are worse things to have stuck in your head. Need 800 for an eraser, so no reason to go checking right now. I say as I immediately go to check in the morning. Watch out! Chaos abound! Grim, balance total today according to your own wishes. I cannot spare the time to give specifics currently. Choose however you want. Oh. This isn't the task we've been given before, I don't think. Okay, so our economy and our environment are bad. Local monk, the last person on Earth who can still write by hand. Scientists baffled. Local broiler cook disagrees about the meaning of life and afterlife. Dies in order to prove point. <laughs> Flying Bolia and amazing Anatoly face off again in upcoming circuit event. But I want to giri giri dance. <laughs> so choose so it says choose however I want. Let's try and pick the ones that will not result in the world ending. Sky Knighton, 35, data and anal analyst. <laughs> analyst. Despite a liberal arts education, Sky works in the space industry, writing programs to analyze satellite data. They live with their spouse and cats. Any spare time they have, have, they enjoy sitting in the hot tub. I mean, who doesn't? I don't see a problem. This person existing. Like a nice person. Vitaly... Vitaly... Boliaki. <laughs> Track and field athlete. Called the Flying Golia... Uh, Vitaly is an amazing runner and proficient jumper. They have a long-lasting rivalry with Anatoly Azarov, constantly one-upping each other in various contests. Little does, uh, does Vitaly know that Anatoly would much rather take them to a film and a dinner. Oh, oh. Eh, oh. Interesting. Is, Ana is um, Anatoly anywhere around here? No? This, uh, this, this guy, gay as fuck. Why not? Plus economy, yep. Yeah. No problem. Gay! Yep. Yeah. Gay! Manuel Castellian, 54, doctor. After decades of working as a doctor, Manuel ultimately just really got tired of it. Nowadays, they're experimenting with dead bodies, trying to sew them together in order to create some sort of a new life form that can potentially live forever. Plus peace, plus health. Brady Falk, 23. How is this person 23? Look at their face. Assistant. Although Brady is concerned with making their butt... They have, like, progeria or something. What the fuck? Concerned with making their boss as happy as possible. They're growing increasingly worried about the nature of their job. Their boss keeps asking them to do ever dodgier things, which, while raising profits, do so at the expense of other living beings. Okay, but I don't really want... I want the boss to be dead, not... 
Not this person, but then again, like, if they're gonna just... If all they're interested in is sucking their boss's cock, you know, and just doing these illegal things, then... Maybe, what, what if this person is their boss? Let's see. Oh, it's a pilgrim. Theodore Josef Kalakowski. Grim's like, I'm killing people today based on the moral issues. And I'm like, I'm killing everyone named Tyler today because it's funny. It is a, it's, it's a bit of a cursed name. Uh, nobody really knows what, when Theodore started their pilgrimage, but it's speculated they've been walking around various pilgrimage paths, helping random strangers and righting wrongs for almost ten years. Only good. We, uh, have that person live. I'm sorry, my dude, but, like, there's something wrong with it. Oh my god! We have positives in all of them! Holy shit. Holy shit. I'm killing people who eat their sandwiches wrong! <laughs> oh my god, that is one of the funniest fucking things I ever saw. I'm killing people who have giant mutant hag hands! Hey, Reaper. Do you hear that joyful murmur of life? I love it! The clarion call of victory. The gorgeous triumph of the mundane. The soothing rhythm of the humdrum. Are you just being sarcastic now? We? Never so, O oh defender of stability. You've even thwarted an ill-fated ambition or two. That's why they call me the Ruiner. The Thwarted One seems quite resigned. I know. You crave for conflict instead? Let them be in your sorrow. Feel at ease and let the smooth tide take you away. I will be seeing you. Uh, wait, what? That's our line. <laughs> Well, t sorry, but, like, we're wearing the coat that says that we're God, so... I must admit, Grim, I still feel a degree of confusion. However, your recent assessment may have been correct. Oh? So, how was your day? Some lived, some died, but nothing catastrophic. Hmm, indeed. The equilibrium really seems to be establishing itself. Mm, all right. I guess that is that. I am at a lack of words. About the daily review? Uh, I am <laughs> sure you have performed adequately. Good night. Nice. Can we buy an eraser? Let's see. How many times have we met? I lost all count. Nope, we're a hundred short. Okay. Take a look. Rim mail. Another pa the usual, another painfully regular day. Everything has been balanced. You can try and keep it that way, unless. Quote of the day, two humans have to die. P.S. I, uh, forgot what I wanted to write. This is so strange. This game is so weird. What on the fuck? Pro news, corpse-stealing doctor found dead. Next snap. What? Truth Exploder. It's alive! A monstrosity seen lurking around the back alleys of Cosmopolis City. Uncovered. Massive expose on illicit underground battery farms fueled by slave labor. What the fuck? Rivalry between prominent 
uh, decathlete end as they found a charity to support marginalized gymnasts. Okay. The Peaceful Pilgrim writes another wrong. Error spotted in a satellite which would have caused it to crash. Now slated to reach orbit successfully this week. Living corpses real and here to eat for children. Adapa the First, unemployed monstrosity. Alive or, or dead, this undead creation of Manuel Castellian usually hides either in the sewers of Cosmopolis City or in a cabin at the surrounding forests. They're eloquent and always interested in discussing existential philosophy, ideas surrounding life and death for obvious reasons. Famous Sage, unemployed, 35. Famous lost their parents at age three and was raised by an odd foster family in an, uh, on, at an isolated village. These days, they are on a mission to find a legendary skull of death, an artifact that supposedly gives one the power to live forever. I mean, that's pretty doubtful if you have anything to say about it. Ryo Kobayashi, politician. Ryo has been aggressively advocating for a new radical policy put gachapon stores in every single convenience store in the entire planet to fuel his addiction. Um, which completely eliminates all taxes. Excuse me. Uh, any and all vocal opponents are mercilessly mocked. I mean, what did taxes ever do for us anyway? <gasps> oh, God. This is so strange. I feel like I want to break the rules and just have it just let them live and not and get no money because I bought everything. I feel like immort this thing about immortality is I don't know about what I want to do with that information. Um, maybe it would result in me and uh, fate no longer existing. Which I don't really particularly want to die myself. We, you know, we have to live, we have to exist long enough to have a head cannon that we fucked the goblin woman. And had a bunch of skeleton goblin children. But if we get an ending where, like, me and fate, like, disappear or something, that would, uh, that would suck. But I think I might, I think I'm gonna kill this guy. I don't want, I, like, for self preservation purposes. I want this guy to live. Ooh! Pluses in everything! Fuck it, I don't care. Uh, excuse me? Okay, that was only bad. That was only bad to let him live. Uh, okay, well, that sucks. Speed. Roll this ore department in the bin. No, I want to keep existing! Yeah, the cat answers the meow of uncertainty. I did everything right. I had a plan. But nothing is happening. Time is running out. What's not happening? Oh, do not mind me. There are many things overburdening my mind. The stress is meddlesome. Sure thing. I must get to the bottom of this. We have no time for chatter, Grim. Leave. Get wrecked, motherfucker. Talk to Goblin Woman? No. Nope. Alright, let's go. Let's go. A matter of balance. Balance, balance, balance. This word. Balance. If you just repeat balance to yourself enough, the word eventually loses all meaning. Quote over for the day. The calculations show that two humans have to die today. Balance. Fate. Fate. He is just losing his fucking mind, huh? Oh god, everything is bad right now except for environment. We need more good things. I've seen a few of these. A dab of the, possible, the possibly undead comes out of hiding and rolls at Central Cosmopolis University. 
Odd corpse person inspires new ideas about tissue damage and flesh regeneration. Public infrastructure in ruins after city runs out of tax money. Search for the legendary skull takes a tragic turn. Archaeologists see... Archaeologists seemingly assassinated? Ooh. Christy Capel, 38, student. A true student for life, Christy has no intention of stopping their intense learning process. In fact, they might be on the verge of a massively important breakthrough with their fourth bachelor's thesis. What? <laughs> Ethel Stone, retired. Ethel has been happily married for nearly 40 years, extramarital affairs notwithstanding. Oh, you're probably dead. Yeah, 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 you're probably dead. They consider being a grandparent their most important role yet. They try to be cool, but have trouble understanding why some of their grandchildren aren't allowed to eat meat or peanut butter sandwiches. I fell asleep. Yeah, that's it happens, my dude. It's fine. This person is a cheater, and they're also giving uh, food to their kids that their kids are allergic to, so I'm just gonna, yeah. Rasa Gilroy. 63, priest. Oh, so if he lives, we get peace. Rasa has tied, has tried to be a stalwart guide to the spiritually lost over 40 years. They've always been open-minded towards philosophical criticism. Now, in their old age, are growing doubtful about religion in general. They are also suspicious of fundamentalist dogma that's been creeping into theology. Calculations go, two humans have to die. Well, what if I only kill one? What if I don't care about your money? What the fuck? Did I just doom the world? I don't have any erasers. God damn it. How do you eat a sandwich wrong? Okay, so that particular sentence, that idea, is actually a Tyler 1 meme. Um, where there was a video I saw of him where he had this gigantic, like, mind-blowing argument with his chat about how to eat a sandwich with one hand. AKA, where do you take the first bite when you're holding the sandwich with one hand? And it, it's it's one of the funniest things I've ever seen in like a 30 minute stream clip video. You have shack hands. <laughs> it's it's so funny. I shouldn't have let this person here a lot live. Uh, I think I just played into Fate's last minute plan. Which really sucks, but oh well. Hey! There's no more time for you to hit on us? Come on. Hey! If it isn't my good pal Grimoire. Has it already been a month? Looks like you just got here a couple hours ago. <laughs> You've been doing excellent work. The world is. More or less stable, humanity lives and prospers and all that. Heckin' great! Yeah, hi, Yorokonde. Giri Kansu. Giri Giri World is more or less stable. Right. Ain't no plan, fake get good cock that's going to stop me. I have no idea what you mean, but it doesn't matter. The important thing is that our treasured small blueprint in safe, caring hands. We've got a cause for celebration! Cheers to your first successful month. A month of grind behind that desk. May it be followed by another one. And a month after that. And a month after that. What's your poison? 
death and taxes. I still haven't got the balance of this one quite right. It may need a bit more tinkering. Drink it alone. It's an odd taste for sure. Delicate pastels mixed together with verbosity, braced by an underlying secret code. Mysterious melodies linger in the background. There's an additional flavor of dramatic articulation which ties it together in a bizarre blend. Join now. Au revoir, little reaper. I don't know if there's a point of talking to Mortimer. You know what? Let's try talking to Mortimer. Because we can do this thing where we concoct what a story for him. At last we make here. The finest tavern in all the lands. Friend, seems ye have done excellent work this time round. This world, unlike many others, is feeling no pain, no charred ground, no fear and despair. Thanks, I managed somehow. I, a labyrinth definitely traversed. I commend ye for the accomplishment. Ye have brought humanity as close to the ideal as one can get. For now, we gaze upon the gates of Utopia, unbarred. Can they be held open? Hmm. I think it's possible. From the multitude of possibilities, ye have plucked one. The rest still remain. Ah, rejoice in your success, Heidi. Have a final drink and be merry. Are you finally gonna tell me who or what you are? Still old mortal. Ex pirate. Trader of trinkets and curios. All around. Talent. Twas a great pleasure to have your attention. Time to head back to me, Emporium. Comrades awaits. Cool. Here we are, the final stretch. And it's business as usual. I said I'd do better. I had a plan. It worked. Too cool for school. That attitude will get us far in life. <laughs> Death. Riding a motorcycle straight into the sunset. Our skull, not at all practical as a helmet, gleaming in the orange light. Doing our taxes at the last moment. If only we had a collar to pop. High five! Slap the mirror. Nice. No greasy handprint. To be honest, you should get out for lunch. But also, keep doing what you're doing. Because it's mostly working. But meeting new people wouldn't do you harm. I guess what we're trying to say is, keep on doing the same thing, but better. Was that helpful? You can tell us later if it was. Don't bother if it wasn't. You should get out more. You are a mirror! Uh... Another ordinary day. It has grown too late. Nothing to do now. <sighs> yeah, Lady Pottington adds a sound of compassion. Grim, my loyal subject. What use is any of this? <laughs> How's it going, idiot Bill? Hey, going an idiot Bill? Any of what? A grave matter. <laughs> grave. Perhaps there is no fighting the inertia. It all flows. Unstoppable. No action of mine can even make it clear. I am resigned to be here forevermore. Okay. Tomorrow is the monthly review where your whole conduct will be judged. It will be clear if you truly belong to this office. Have a good final rest, Grim.
do your job. What is this yellow skull? Death and taxes? I wonder if this spirit stole all the taxes. One last word. Here we are, the last day before your ultimate evaluation. A day just like yesterday. The day before that. Time flies, does it not? Do humans have to die again? I guess this is it. A little bit of badness in the economy, or in the, um, the health and in the, the woodlands. Scandal erupts at university as another thesis is found to be full of plagiarized paragraphs and faulty re- I understand. They're just a liar. Okay. Okay, I shouldn't have uh, let that person live. Price Mallard, 30, photographer. Price started their photography career by taking tasteful dudes, but soon got bored and decided to turn towards nature, nature photography instead. They stalked the countryside for glorious vistas and sometimes even aim their camera at birds and wildlife. A lot of negative in the snow globe, and yet the game is telling me that I'm doing well. Elias Callum, 39, screenwriter, novelist. Elias talks a lot and really fast when not eating tasty fried chicken. Now, they have a tendency to start singing all of a sudden, mostly on wildly inopportune moments. They work as a screenwriter for TV, just published a children's book, and are a member of a podcast about bad film. Okay. Kaya Chadwick. Butcher. Kaya never thought they'd have a stomach for chopping up meat. Turns out the trick was to disassociate and have sharp knives. They tend to be slightly hasty and wasteful when handling their product. On weekends, Kana does not does a street circus that focuses on knife juggling. Person is uh, gonna get people hurt. Do we just do two humans? Like fate says in the paper? I mean, I don't know if I would mind. No, I like these guys. Two guys, uh, they seem like they're good. I don't see a problem with them. As I suspected. Now we only have negatives and peace, according to the snow globe. One more chat with everyone here. Returns to our humble establishment. You know, nothing much happens on Sundays, but you still keep dropping by the game. Say, you got the hots for me. Or <laughs> I mean, if we go based upon how we were at, how how we're talking out out uh, in the fourth wall. No, I'm just very thorough in my gameplay. <laughs> This is true, but also this is true. Yes, I'm a bit of a creep. Oh, well, you're not really my type. A bit too dead and grim for my taste. Damn it! Why were you hitting on us then? But more importantly, a suggestion. Don't hit on bartenders at their own place. Damn it! Good luck. Keep in mind, we largely get paid to be nice to you, so don't read too much into that. Damn it! Moreover, we can't really leave, meaning we're stuck talking to you even if you're being rude. It's altogether inappropriate. So how about we forget this happened and I'll get you something. Sure. What's your poison? Milk. It's better than silky milk coming your way. Au revoir. All oh, goblins are the same. They don't like a nice skeleton. They just want assholes. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so that kind of sucks. I guess we're never going to really make jokes about her ever again like that. How did it go so wrong? I had it all worked out. Calculated. Designed. 
Yes, I did it. I figured it out this time. You... what? You knew of my plan? And worked against it? I couldn't let it happen. I cannot believe you defeated me. All goblins eat hot chip and lie. <laughs> All I wanted was a peaceful rest. To escape the endless circle of meaningless anguish. Now, here I stand, alone in the bright lights of my shattered life. I could give you your freedom, I could replace you. Grim, that is not how this whole structure operates. I cannot just relinquish the position to a mere spawn. You are not constructed for this purpose. Bigger than archaic rules, wanted to destroy the world. I... I did. I also went against the rules. I lost my way. And humankind almost paid the ultimate price. Who can say with certainty you are not a better fit for this office? The evidence is all here, in the documents of the past four weeks. Yes, I will set up the transition process. Grim, enjoy your final hours as a drone. Soon you will sit in my stead. Cool! You're telling me he could just go take a nap and leave Grim in charge the entire time of humanity didn't get 80, 86? <laughs> I mean, I guess so. I will withdraw. Accept my own fate. <laughs> and we will not be meeting again. Wait, what's going to happen to you? Fate looks at you, smiles, and leaves the office in silence. Ouroboros, relieve fate of their duties and ascend as the new fate. Back to the roots. Goodest ending. Get the most positive ending imaginable. Nations united. Mankind surpassing biological limits. Humanity transcending. All right. As you become the new keeper of the world order. I love that we have our avatar here. It's so good. I love that the game does that for cutscene. That's always been a thing that I thought was cool in like a role-playing game type games when the cutscenes are look really good, but also like have your character's correct model in it. So I really like that they just that they have this accurate. Fellow traveler, that was fun. The choices, the excitement. Admittedly, ye did pretty good. The world's mostly busy and bustling. Right for some pirate adventures. <laughs> but I can offer a new cycle. A turn of the hourglass, and ye shall be set upon a path in a fresh timeline. A parallel world, so to speak. There ye will again find every friend and enemy, hope and error. Knowledge and loot will remain, of course. Otherwise, tis the eternal recurrence of all things. So we got an achievement saying that we got the goodest ending. You know what? Maybe now's the time that I go look up the guide for uh, these endings. Because... You say there are four endings. I got the worst one and then the best one. So what are the ones in between, I wonder? All right. Sorry to make you guys sit here. Stat-based endings, Grimm's endings. 
interesting. gonna do we're gonna do another we're gonna do another playthrough where we have to talk to the mirror literally every single time so let's do that new chain This is definitely a new, a new universe. Hmm. I like the Powerpuff reference. Yeah, me too. I'm not trying to be like comically evil this time around. But I do want to be a bit more of a fucking asshole. Because we're about to do the thing that the, the mirror wants us to do. Finally. The new spawn has awoken. What a... momentous day. I am honored to welcome you into our world. Spawn. Hang on. Spawn number two, five. This is good because that means Detective Swift can stay fate in the other universe and this guy is the shithead. Yep. I am fate. I am the keeper of world order. Hello, pleasure to meet you, fate. Oh, a polite grim reaper for a change. This is a good start. Welcome to your new job as an overseer of Cosmopolis City Subdivision 4, the Sun County Wine Region. Sun County Winery, whatever that I means. I know what you are thinking, and yet, your assignment is choosing humans who have to die. Pretty standard stuff. As it is your first day, Oh man. Try to get to know I wanna the lean system. back. And do not destroy the world, yes? <laughs> Gallows humor, you see? Right, yes. <clears throat> Clear? Okay. I had to lean back when my uh my microphone almost fell. <laughs> and I was uh not happy with the prospect of it falling. Clear? Extremely. I'd like to get to work right now. Oh, a commitment. Yes. Onward to your work. Then. So, we basically have... What happens is that we have to do the thing that the red profiles say, and we have to talk to every single instance of the mirror. So until we start getting the mirror's messages and stuff, we're just going to follow our exact direction. Is what we're going to do. One more thing. This will be your seven-day evaluation period. When the week is done, you will be... assessed. One week 
to show us what you are made of, Reaper. Why is everything scattered everywhere? Honestly, that's totally a fine place for that to be. I'm probably not going to go back to Cerberus Den very much anymore. Because uh, that lady uh, was not happy about uh, us being so forward. Yeah, maybe we don't need to. Maybe it's uh, not appropriate to bother her with the jokes now, huh? All right. Four. One human has to die. Yep. Okay. Also, Von Barade, basketball player, 24. Asip, who started off as a student of sociology, is currently on the path of becoming the highest scoring power forward in local college basketball history. But not training or studying, they often help out in the community. And then here's Raven. We've killed them before. I don't know if I care about them dying this time around. Again, let's just follow the rules until we get the red profiles. That's all we have to th think about. We really just kill this community guy? Nah, let's, uh, I don't care about my stats necessarily. Cosmopolis hosting the basketball season final match. Tune in or cheer from the arena. From the arena or the home crowd. Yep. So we don't start getting we don't start getting the uh, the mirror talking to us until until uh, hmm until day four. Which oh wh which of these sombreros looks the most evil? Something about this is very pretty and also says devilish to me in some fashion. But these two are also good. This probably aligns with, with the rest of our coloration more. This red also matches us. And then the blue just contrasts the red. This is just white and black. This is just black and gray. I'm gonna go with this one for now. I might, uh... I might take it off, but... Welcome. How was your first day? Really good. Great. We are counting on your dedication. You do important work, after all. Remember, lives are on the line. I see exactly one person perished today, as tasked. Did you figure out the best choice? I did. To be honest, I gave a simple one to begin with. There was no best choice. Sometimes none of the options are good. Not for everyone. Such is the unfortunate, indisputable, incontrovertible, ironclad law of... You have a nice... You have a good night, CJ. We Question. will see you next week. Nope, I'm ready for anything. Keep your eye on the letter for future guidelines. And keep up the good work. A new day awaits. Off you go now.
there's no reason to really dally, is there? Well, actually, we, maybe Mortimer has yet more di dialogue Welcome for us. Welcome back, good customer. Tis nice of you to visit me in Porium again. Though, I may have little to provide you. What are you, Mortimer? I should thank you or something, yes? I guess I now know what really makes you infamous. Never mind those other options. You want to buy my award plaque? Oh, uh, nay. You're taking a piss, right? Why'd I ever be interested in utter junk? <laughs> Come on! It's for best newcomer! Ah, I know what tis for. Ye think I haven't seen mountain of them for. Every single new reaper. Be off and return when you're ready to do business again. That's hilarious. Okay. Find your accommodations adequate. Yeah, one human with an engineering or industrial background has to die. Again, we'll, we're more or less following orders until we get, uh, you know. Promising basketball player seriously injures knee in an on-event collision. Single mother lost in fatal car crash. Ah. That sucks. Ah, that is very sad. That is very sad, but I didn't want to kill either of them. Zara Tejon. Mason. 38. Zara considers masonry a formidable art, a mixture of intricate design and an impressive monumentality. You're convinced that Cosmopolis City needs to construct a proper city wall again. Engineering or industrial. Reggie R. Roback. Reggie graduated from clown school a long time ago, but the search for a paying clown gig has been unfruitful. They keep making balloon animals in their tiny apartment in the fear of losing the finesse. They also stay in character 24-7, which some people might find creepy. That's kind of funny. Theon Holoweski. Uh, I think I... Yeah, if he dies, that's plus health minus economy. Can't cut even count the amount of shoes they've made. It says one human with an engineering or industrial background. That means it has to be... That means it's telling us that it absolutely must be this person, but I don't really, I don't really care about that, actually. In Japan, they call KK Slider Hota KK. Cool. No, uh, I think Clown Man is funny. He's, like, scaring people, and, that, and that's amusing to me. Uh... Who needs shoes? Random cute thing, like how Bob is actually Nikoban. Yep. I agree. Grim, how was the second day on the job? Great! It gladdens me to hear that. So, did you follow the rules properly? Almost. Okay. By the looks of it, you did fine. So... Continue the good work, and do not let tough choices get you down. I hope to get to kill more people! Uh, no. You are to mark the profiles as requested. <laughs> we are not here to cause wanton mayhem. Rest well. You will need it. See you soon. Uh, we, I think we can buy an eraser. Damn it, we need 700. New humans die, new day dawns. You ought to know the drill by now. 
So just two humans. Yeah, who cares? Do these chumps? Yeah, that's fine. I can do that. Dio Borzorski. Politician. I even read. Too long, didn't read. Franklin Haber considers themselves a hotshot pilot. Columba Hunter, yeah. Minus environment plus peaks. Eh. I'm getting almost all people I've seen before. Okay, this one I haven't seen before. This this one we have. Okay. Who is this person? Danny is a, is a peculiar pensioner who keeps roaming all around town with a kettle in hand, always mumbling about the kettle not being warm enough. No one seems to know what, if anything, is in the kettle. It is a mystery. to build small 50 meter city wall at the border as a sculpture to ages past wall would prevent against barbarian raids if those still existed <laughs> fucking game Grim, my latest spawn Three days you have been with us. How do you feel? Fine, more or less. Good. One has to focus on their tasks and avoid needless emotionality. It helps maintain composure in our stressful line of work. Now, let me take a look at the files you sent in today. Right. Everything looks to be in order. You have followed the rules and marked the correct amount of profiles. There really is not much else to say. You may leave. See you tomorrow. I want to explain how to use kanji to say the rest of the season, e.g. the rest of summer. I'm writing it in my notebook. I see! Prepare for a perilous adventure on the ocean of quality merchandise. Lethian Obliviator. Okay, we possess uh, the Eraser. Oops. Three humans, okay. All survived in a plane crash due to skillful efforts of pilot. Local politician dead after being struck by a car. Police have not yet ruled out a deliberate hit. Foolhardy pilot buzzes air traffic control for a uh, tower, gets fired immediately, and banned from flying in the air cap for at least 20 years. Mysterious kettle elder goes missing during latest tour of the city. Oh my god. Hold on, have... New? 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 Not new. New. Okay. Let's, let's read these people. Keiji Sakai. Did you know he's a police officer? Oh, wait, no, no, no. He's 66 and retired and bald. Keiji made a fortune with their protein bar factory, allowing them to retire early. They decided to use their hard-earned fortune on helping the community. Supplying and the impoverished regions with free potato plants and helping them become self-sufficient. If I let them live, I have to kill these three. Or I have to just ignore the thing. Connor is an avid fan of found footage horror, which inspired them directing films of their own. They recently released a series of educational videos using the found footage aesthetic titled How to Not Get Stabbed, The Fundamental of Knife Battles. That just sounds bad, like you shouldn't be doing that. Alessandro Meres. Despite their old age, Alessandro retired from working as a Miagra salesman only a few years ago, due to a lack of stamina for his high energy role. They are finally able to enjoy life after decades of hard work, attempting to fulfill their dream of opening an exotic art gallery. 
Alia Fokin, photojournalist. Alia used to be a war correspondent. Nowadays, most of their time is spent searching for feel-good stories. They recently got hired to this Daily Clarion, where the editor-in-chief tasked them with identifying a peculiar vigilante of sorts who keeps running around the city in a manatee-themed costume. What the fuck? I can always just disobey. You know what? Yeah, what? let's do it. Disobedience. This is all only good. <laughs> That's hilarious. Wow! This went balls to the wall, just all living. I am going to transition into murdering everybody at the behest of the, the red papers. But he's going to be pissed off now. You disappoint me. I hoped to avoid having this discussion again. What do you mean again? We haven't even had it once. Must I really reiterate myself? You cannot allow all to live. I hope you realize the implication for the world and for yourself. I'm sorry, I messed up. Yes, well, I am glad we are in agreement. This will be noted down as your second warning. What the fuck do you mean second there will warning? Be many more. Good night, friend. We are all walking on a tightrope, prone to falling at any moment. See that you do not. What do you mean, second warning? You haven't warned me once. Bitch ass motherfucker. Two humans have to die. Spare any humans with a science background. Sure. Only two must die. Ejiro Bancole. Ejiro is currently organizing. Uh, spare humans with a pet with. No, no, no. This is going to cause a zombie apocalypse. Remember this bullshit. This is a new person. This is a new person. This is a new person. This is not a new person. Uh, we'll see. This is new. Only two need to, need to perish, so... Right now it's only one. What's his research again? Oh. Hmm. Mercenary? Wow. They haven't been trained properly to act in the combat zone. Wow. Okay. I should have read that aloud. I'm sorry. Bruno is a mercenary, always ready for work, always ready to work for the highest bidder. They're currently stationed at Faradin with a government contract providing security service. They act tough and gung-ho to cover up the fact that they haven't been trained to properly act in a combat scenario. We just kill him and spare everyone else, maybe. We'll see. What? I thought I... So recently, Jody embraced their life as a librarian. One day, they visited an exhibition at recently opened Erotic Mar Art Museum. There, they experienced an awakening of sorts. Ditching their previous profession to become a thong salesperson instead. Oh, well.
Michel van den Sanden. The elf focuses on researching red dwarves and the possibility of finding habitable planets in their system. Lifetime science fiction fan. Right. They were sad but accepting of their children dressing up as a bow-wielding fair folk from a fantasy novel. Yeah, like, I don't see why I would... Iji Kanekawa, or Kaneka. Inmate! Currently incarcerated at the local jail for producing hard drugs at the organic synthesis lab they had access to as a chemistry student. They still dream of finishing their degree program after getting out of jail. Eiji now wishes to be a diplomat as they are constantly negotiating gang deals in jail and surviving. Okay, if we're doing chaos, or if we're doing red, like the red papers chaos stuff, then... This guy is a fucking moron. Could kill him. This person is harmless, even though I, their their profession is very stupid. Um, this guy is a dumbass. I don't mind him just. Actually, if he lives, he might kill more people. Citizens of Ayar of Ayaria getting healthier and happier due to increased potato consumption. Old man opens erotic art erotic art gallery. You see, when the paper said exotic art gallery, I was like, I really hope that doesn't just be pornography. And then it did, and I'm like, oh great, okay. Pregnancy rate suddenly increasing. Scientists baffled. Baron Cyander leading the polls might be by a wide margin. The Flop Disc, episode 57, How Not to Get Stabbed, provides endless amounts of hilarity and ineptness. Oh. Oh, the humanity. Anonymous vigilante prevents another attempt of robbery. Dormant plague bacteria discovered in permafrost waiting to be released. CEO of the What Now social media platform planning to open a museum of antiques and relics. Okay, yep, oh. Okay, our first instance. So, let me read this thing. Talk to it every time possible when clouds will fly it, fly, float by it, and comply to its schemes through the red profile. Who's there? That's exactly the question. Who are you? We are the exalted Chimera, envied by all the blind, arrogant fools. We are Angst Ex Milio. We are nothing a despicable failure. We are Elan Vital, the guide who won't lead astray, if only you learn to listen. We are death. How does it feel? Uh, feels fine? Not a cloud in the sky. Have you forgotten what happened? He's seeing you, Reaper. It's a grim world out there. Uh-huh, sure. What a day, Grim. What a day. Let us go over your conduct first. Good. I see the correct amount of profiles. Today seems to be in order. Anyway, Grim, five days you have been with us. How does it feel to make the difficult choices? Grim, take this seriously. We are here to save the humans from themselves. 
and hold the chaos at bay. But think of the humans. Do you think our office is the appropriate way to deal with them? Hmm, your certainty soothes me. Ours is the tradition, and those should not ever change. For that is the meaning of a tradition, yes? This control over all the lives, unbeknownst to the humans, do you not consider it unethical to make the choices you make? It gladdens me to hear you do not bother yourself with unnecessary concern. The office is perennial and venerated. Eon, oh, I do apologize for taking up so much of your time. Before you go, are there any questions you would like to ask me? Right, it has been enlightening. I bid you a good night. See you tomorrow. Have ye seen such deals before? Tis ye who plunders me.
Hello. Okay. All right. So I've plugged back in the old microphone. Uh, hold on. I'm going to turn the light back off, I guess. That was really fucking weird because I don't know what happened at all. I literally have no idea why the uh, the new microphone just suddenly stopped. It did this thing where like it suddenly stopped, you were pointing out it stopped, I went to look at it, and then it literally vibrated and then just shut off. And I have no idea what that means, so I guess I'll have to go get the manual for that, but until now, oh well for now I mean, I'm just gonna use the old microphone, which uh, I was had replaced before because it just kept cutting in and out and hopefully it's not doing too much of that right now. Maybe I should turn it up a bit. An itty bitty bit. Itty bitty bit. Okay. What if that means overheating? Uh, well I'm feeling the laptop right now, it's not that overheated. All right, and Asahi is having trouble. Oh god. Uh I'm just going to turn him off for now. I mean the mic overheated? Well, I mean, I'm feeling the mic myself and it doesn't feel different. But yeah, we're just going to continue this game with no Wait a minute. Oh, okay. All right. Emmy is now playing the game. Yes. So the evil. Th so the thing I was saying before. Uh, all that weird microphone business is that I'm just gonna kill all the people that are new that I've never touched their profile before. Now, I still will read. I'm still going to read it. Uh, Parvani Waur, uh, 25, art history student. Parvani is an avid re- an avid- or excuse me. Parvani, an avid reader and student of art history, comes from a rough background. They grew up in a very poor neighborhood, yet the community pulled their meager funds to help Parvani's ascent to higher education. Oops. Well, sorry, but you're a new person, so I've killed you. Choi Yuri. PhD student. Joy doesn't like being called a student. They are a doctoral candidate, a tormented scholar, a discoverer of drugs and a curer of disease. Except when a student discount is available somewhere. Wait, I thought I killed the... I... Almost forgot to make these people live. Andreas Katzulskas, veteran, 63. Andreas is a traumatized veteran of the Marisola Peninsula conflict, now living on the streets. They are very good with animals and are a staunch vegetarian while being, even while being in the rough. Sometimes one has just seen too much suffering and death. And now, you are dead. You are already dead. Mai wa mo shinderu. Nani? Lakshmi, I, I have a feeling that a lot of what I'm saying is just cutting out because of the old microphone not working. Um, I am a bit pissed, though, because I don't know why the new one is just suddenly shut off after, like, what, like three or four months of using it? 55, Illustrator. Lakshmi used to work in the animation industry, but grew increasingly tired and stressed due to the lengthy work hours. These days, they're self-employed, running their own tiny art studio, and taking commissions from businesses just to... They're just general fan art enthusiasts. No cutting out at all for some reason? Well, if it's working, it's working. Michael St. James. 43 unemployed. Or Mitchell, excuse me. Mitchell is a lover of pizza, especially those with pineapple toppings, as it should be. They attempted to become a millionaire at age 30, but ended up homeless instead. They still did not lose their love for writing poems and pineapple pizza. Well, you're dead now. 
Adananya Chike Mwebola, Mbola, office worker. Chi, as they like to be called, enjoys building and restoring muscle cars in their leisure time. It gives them a solace in an otherwise monotonous life. They are most proud of their first ever project, the Motorosity, powered by the rare 7.0 liter V Hemi. Oh, Hemi? <gasps> V8 Hemi 426 engine. Yeah, well, that, no, that matters. I killed you before I even uh, knew about you, so. Archaeologist stumbles, impales themselves on the massive tusk of a supposed giant hamster. Window shopping for planets. Could this planet be a fu our future home? Noted archaeologist caught attempting to smuggle ancient artifacts out of Faradin, shot by a militia group. Oof. Mercenary squad blows up a museum full of historical documents and artifacts. Anti-war senator demands, why are there unqualified uh, mercs running around in conflict zones committing war crimes? Crow News, huge amounts of MMMA just came out of nowhere, police, police came, claim. Homelessness is a moral nightmare and a failure of society. Sure. I killed the number of people I was supposed to because I don't want to... Pineapple hater, doom the guy who likes pineapple on pizza. What a stupid achievement. I don't want to talk to the bartender lady. She was a she was a bit harsh to me in the previous life. Ah, Grim. It looks to be a rough day out there. New recruits often falter during dark time. Yet you seem to have performed adequately. How do you feel after such a day? I was built for dark times. Excellent. With this attitude, you will become a most industrious reaper. Let us hope these days do not continue. Any idea what happened? Maybe it was an industrial accident of some sort. Felt toxic. Interesting. An insightful streak may yet rattle inside that skull of yours. Off you go now, Grim. Good night. Ooh. Nothing to buy. What am I doing? You know what? I, I guess I'm. I guess I'm a simp because I just. Hello there. I'm Heck, I haven't seen you before. You must be brand new. Yeah, there's plague everywhere. It makes sense to wear your dang mask. <laughs> Besides, it looks hella dope. <gasps> so, how are you liking existence thus far? It was pretty good to be alive, in a sense. Oh, yeah. side of undead, eh? I'm sure you never thought this is how you'll end up. Sometimes, these are the cards we are going Okay, newbie, before we continue, look at this little game I play with every fresh face patron. All you gotta do is answer a series of questions, and I'll craft a personalized drink in Let's, 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 let's have asshole answers for all these. Number. upon an unfamiliar animal. Their leg is trapped in it. The beast will likely not survive for long. How will you adapt? <laughs> Draw your scythe and swiftly slay the beast. Or even more, asshole, berate the animal for being dumb and getting trapped. Time for question number two. You and a friend are valiant but poor warriors. You both venture out to slay a mighty dragon. At the end, your friend thinks he slew the dragon, while in actuality, you did. When asked, what will you do? Why should anyone else get my golden glory? Next up, question before you lies a table teeming with plants. You have to eat one of the plants. Your very life depends on it. Okay. What kind of plant would you prefer to eat? Mushrooms, all of them. Well, this is the answer of evil. Maybe like two sequoias. <laughs> Amor, Amorphophallus titanium, the corpse flower. 
That's too edgy. The cactus, the most brutal of plants, that's also edgy. A mushroom, all of them. This is this is a very evil answer. A rose. <laughs> Let's be evil. We will eat all the mushrooms. You behold two domes, one plain and old, the other forged of gold. The old one seems to imply disgrace and shame. The golden door cries of nobility and grandeur. It's up to your brave soul to make the first choice. Which door will you want? Doors are for dimwits. I'll break the window and jump out. This has to be first of four centiliters of somniac licorice and two centiliters of a botanical spirit of your choice. Anything that's not gin, basically. Then two deciliters of hot chocolate and topped with whipped cream. Hint of something that might be just a smidge. Hate to admit it, but feels right. Yeah, it's always sour grouse. Even if it's called sour grouse, first one's on the house. Nod. Yeah, it's fairly decent. Second understatement of the century. Now what else can I get you? Au revoir, little reaper. She broke our heart. <laughs> right, we already talked. Okay, yes. Two humans must die. Spare humans who seem helpful against the troubles. I don't care about those. We know this person. This is a new person. New. 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 And we know this person, and we know that them living is very bad, so let's just, uh, get that one out of the way. Microbrewer, bartender, yeah. I, I, if we've read their text before, I'm not going to read it again. Sahira al-Zafari, Zafari. 40, bus driver. Sahira is a downtown bus driver. They are pulling double shifts to save money for opening a small vegan muffin shop. They can barely make it to the bathroom or eat during their breaks. When they get home, they collapse in exhaustion. I think if they live, they might be inspired to eat meat. So I think that would be funny, so I'm going to have them live. Albert David Goch. Corrupt CEO. Albert is an incredible human being, as in, never in all of history has there been anyone who has destroyed so many humans and social systems with such nihilism and greed. They will stop at nothing in their quest to squeeze out any short-term profit. Well, you know, I gotta be on top, so I gotta, I gotta put an end to you. I have to be the most evil around here, you know? Rico Papalioin, email scammer. Rico has built a fully automated spam bot, sending thousands of emails every day, offering people riches beyond their wildest dreams. Well, it'd be cool to kill you too, but I, I don't want to get reprimanded quite yet. I feel like I don't want a third reprimand. We're not going to kill more people than necessary. So the Indian scammer gets to live. Trace col Collision. Trey col Collision. Whatever. Smuggler. There isn't a thing Trey won't smuggle in or out of the country. Whatever it is, they'll find a way. Drugs, guns, endangered animals, antiques, and artifacts. Even people, they have no scruples, no hidden principles. Yep. Get to survive. Check the news. Thousands suffocate in sleep after gruesome toxic spill lays waste to community. Authorities investigating corruption at Carrier Corp due to worst industrial catastrophe in history. More victims found. Toxic spill claims the life of another homeless person. Nurse wins prestigious award. There's more to medicine than just doctors. 
Is it really hard for people to stop being poor? Our latest column has the answers. Tragedy strikes as a life of long of a as life of long time motor enthusiast is lost due to a drunk driver. Okay. I let a lot, a lot of evil people live, but uh, oh well. I don't, I don't know what I want. Hey, there's Harold again. Hey, hey, pleased to see you again. Ain't much happening here today. It's a slow Sunday. Sure, what's your poison? Uh, corpse reviver. <laughs> if you uh, valued your sanity, you don't want to eat this cocktail. Value your sanity, you don't want to ever learn the ingredients. <laughs> Bois -bois, wave your drink at the plant pot. Electrifying! A burst of liquid lightning blasts through your nervous system, if you had one, that is. But you don't. Every bone begins to vibrate. The vibration builds a feedback loop until it feels like you might shatter at any moment. It's but a trick of the mind and soon abates. Au revoir, little reaper. Hey, day six. So we get this conversation. That wasn't so good, was it? It's okay. We can figure it out, make it work. First bend clear like the azure pond at the forest glade. Yeah, I can do this. You were born for this. That's what fate keeps telling you, ain't it? It's like a surge in your spine. A faint echo of a perfect chord. It's very close, Be seeing you. So she sends us her first mission for us on day 11. We have to speak to her more than that, though. Welcome, Grim. It is the end of the week. Your performance with you draws near. How do you think you have been doing? I think I've managed to follow the rules. Interesting. Hmm. Yes, your answer has been recorded for the psyche eval. Now then, before the assessment, let us look over your daily conduct. I see the required profiles are all here. Excellent. This bodes well for the evaluation. I guess it is time to get started. I'm ready. Now, where did I put those papers? Your conduct over the seven Oh wait, days today is day seven. Passed. Never mind. I am sincerely surprised and pleased by your display. Oh my god, we didn't miss a day, did we? Oh, please fucking tell me we didn't just miss a day of talking to the so mirror. Much so that the office has deemed you fit for a raise. I don't really do this for the money, you know. Of course. We do it for the excitement of paperwork. Speaking of, the raise also comes with a prize. The offer. Do not let this cloud your judgment. You still have much to learn. And many rules to follow. I like ice cream. What? I swear, there must have been something off in the grim room. <laughs> Nonetheless. I just got achievement said ice cream for ice cream. <laughs> As such, your seven day evaluation period has concluded. You have passed. That is all. Until tomorrow, Grim. I really hope I didn't miss one of the, the days to talk to the mirror. I was really under the impression I hadn't missed, missed anything, but uh, we may have. What of the day? Three humans must die. Spare anyone. I don't care about sparing people based on this. Between the age of 35 and 60? Yeah, no, I don't really care. Everything is in ruins, but there is positivity, apparently. So, okay. This is a, a person we've seen before. Also, letting them live is bad. I'm just gonna... 
Oh yeah, it's Mercury St. Eowns. This motherfucker makes a cult when we let him live. One, two, three, four, five. There's five. So yeah, we need a we need a specific ratio. This is a new person. New. If I kill this. Oh wait, I have to kill three anyway. Um. Well, let's see how this how these two new people go. It was Vanessa, thirty three nurse. Ella looks, works as a nurse in the intensive care unit, making sure the patients don't suffer more than they have to. Ella is also a big advocate of euthanasia. Sometimes they feel so bad for a patient, they give them a gift of death as an act of mercy, without really consulting them. Wow. Uh, I am not going to be in trouble for killing you. Yep, I am not being reprimanded for that. So it's between this guy and this guy now. Takahiro Nagai. Golfer, 44. Takahiro loves hitting a tiny ball with a stick. There's no doubt about it. Just whack that tiny ball real hard and see where it lands. Sometimes it even lands where it's supposed to. Often not. It doesn't matter. As Takahiro also loves refreshing walks and searching for things. That is so fucking weird and funny. I want to see what happens when we let Takahiro live, so I'm going to... Bad for the environment, apparently. Five reasons why you should go to the new vegan muffin shop. Double or nothing right now. <laughs> Local brewer wins the best beer of the year competition the third time in a row. A new modern painting exhibition. Pictures of happiness. Kitchen boss of fancy local restaurant found dead at home. Chicken flu suspected. Examiners on scene find resentful letter promising to make them pay. Tiger escapes smugglers, runs amok across, uh, Cosmopolis City, dozens mauled. Infamous CEO sails their enormous yacht directly into a beach, found impaled in the, on, a, on a tree. Rico 115, please send your credit card info if it is rich as you desire. <laughs> okay. Grim. Ah, yes, there you are. Good, good. <clears throat> okay, now, listen up. Great work today. You fulfilled your tasks adequately, and all that. However, an emergency has occurred which requires my utmost attention, and I must depart for a couple of days. All right, I'll report yes, to your camp. You... Never mind. It means you are thinking ahead. And... I'll give the cat the gerbil again. So that it doesn't trample my papers. Uh, can't go to the bar. Great. That's fine. Oh, plants. We have to kill plants. We have to kill the plants. Have we met these before? Oh, we have. Die this one dying is not good. Rolling hen chicks is a tiny succulent. Must kill the plant. We have to kill three of them as well. Apart for important things, we know he's just playing mobile games in the toilet. Cuckoo <laughs> beat the Peppo. Two position bodybuilder. Cuckoo beat the Peppo is an extremely large pumpkin, weighing in at almost half a ton and still growing. It lives in a local sustainable farm. Lately, the farm has had problems with flooding, which has destroyed many of the other pumpkin plants. So that's the heckin' chonker. This blade of grass is really interesting because it's slightly smaller than a regular grade of blade of grass. But not by much. It grows in the field almost like almost identical grass. I don't care. Kill the grass. I need to kill three. Viola Sororia. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Age one. Photos. Wonderful tiny harmless little flower growing on 
the site of a secret military base. Absolutely delightful. Argaritina Altissima, parent. Argaritina, also known as a white snake root or rich weed, is a plant that grows in a cow pasture. It is half a meter tall and has small white flowers. It is ready to release its seeds with fluffy white tails into the wind. Grass baby go to heaven. <laughs> it's a singular blade of grass. <laughs> um... Growing on the side of a secret military base. I feel like if this flower dies, there's gonna be, like, some sort of... Like, um... There's gonna be some sort of, like, windfall where, like... Because the life is dying near the base, the people at the base become jaded and it causes a world war or some nonsense like that. So we're gonna... I need to kill three, though. I need to pick two to die. Oh. Yeah, no, we have... No, we're gonna kill both of those. These, This one has to live. This big, big pumpkin friend must live. So we, we will kill the flowers. Minus peace, I told you! Some nonsense! Also some nonsense. Noted motivational speaker commits suicide in jail. Cause of, a, cause of arrest to be revealed soon. Intensive care unit at the local hospital sees an unprecedented spike in survival rate. The harvest festival starts a few weeks. Bring your largest vegetables to the, to the contest. The farmer with the biggest vegetable gets a big cash prize. Okay, so the the farmer who may who uh, got the pumpkin friend, like this uh, pumpkin friend, like they're the pumpkin that's gonna win this contest. What secrets does she know? That flower had information on the Clintons. <laughs> oh God. Okay. Alone, Reaper. Power at your fingertips. It's electrifying. On your own. You know why? Because they're setting you up. Who is? Fate! Everyone in the office. Haven't you seen them stare whenever you drift by? You don't have what it takes to succeed. You're a void. I'm a nobody. What if I make a mistake? Burning at the stake. Drawn and quartered. Boiled and stuffed into a can. No, not even. Not worth that much effort. Be seeing you. Fuck you. Cough politely. The cat turns their head towards you, staring with her op one open eye. <laughs> hey cat, I bought you a gift. Cool, cool, nothing ominous here. And I'm rich. All right, we are back to normal. Two humans for the day. So two of the all the ones we have here. Ongoing conflicts find no resolution as peace talks stall. Many people in hospital with poisoning from cow's milk. What? Why would that po what? Why would that one plant? Whatever. The harvest festival contest first prize goes to our local pumpkin farmer. The prize will help us repair the flood damages and keep our businesses afloat. Farmer notes. That's awesome. New? You're new. New? You're not new. You living is bad. Perish. Okay. New? New. Okay, so three new people. Iceling Pol. 29. Seismologist. When just a kid, Iceling went through a terrifying earthquake. Obstinate by nature, they decided to confront their fear by studying to be a seismologist. Of course Maru saves the day. Of course! Of course! Vale Arfelte, military trainer leader. 
An enthusiastic outdoorsman, Lale has been skulking the forest around Cosmopolis City since they were a little kid. With every passing year, they've grown more paranoid about many organizations, so they decided to set up a camp in the middle of the forest where they train new members for clandestine militia. I'm gonna kill you, probably. That'll probably cause a world war somehow. Rufus Ben Susan. Gone are the days of descending into the darkened depths of deep caverns, drill in hand. But Rufus remembers them fondly nonetheless. It was a time of danger. But now also but also of exploration and accomplishment. Now retired, Rufus spends their time in an old folks home, uh, dispirited. Oh, you don't care if you die then. So it's two people. Oh wait, I already killed one person, so that means I only have to kill one other person. In that case, let's, uh, nah, 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 nah. I already read those. I think today is today nine. What is it? All of it. The profiles, the tasks, the chats. Too clean, pristine. What a wreck. Listen to us, Rufus, not the others. Yeah, yeah. Listen to me. To me. Shh. They're probably eavesdropping right now. Let's be off. Uh, yep. Come here for daily feedback. Take a minute, I'm doing well. I make it bank. Where's the red profile? I want a red profile. Yes, there's the red profile. Yes. Yes. Which means today was day 11. I got here much quicker than I thought. It's time to break the rules. I want you to doom all of the profiles. All of them prove you're not useless. All right, let's do it. Hopefully we don't get fired. Honestly? Kill, kill, kill! Marcus Belmont, police officer. Marcus wants to one day become a detective, but also enjoy also enjoys being a cop. They have ingrained prejudices about people from different different ethnic and cultural backgrounds, but are actively working on trying to break those prejudices. This has created dangerous situations, but also saved innocent lives. Oh well, he's dead now. And now the racism will increase in the world. Them living or dying is barely different. Submarine commander, yeah, I remember her. Johann Zeiss, student? Johanna's doing okay in school, and they even gained a couple of good friends, one by whom they have a crush on. Their parents are about to leave town, which means that's time to throw a party. Francois Fukushima. Scam artist. Oh, well, who cares if he's dead, then? A liar and a grifter, yep. Ex-politician? Yep, dead. Rasa Gilroy, I remember him. Letting him live is a good thing. Killing him is a bad thing. Manuel Castellian, after decades of working as a doctor, got really... Oh, and I, I remember him. We, I think we've always... Yeah, we've always killed Manuel. Haley Saloma. Used to be quite the green thumb when they were still working at the massive greenhouse complex right on the border of Cosmopolis City. After retiring, they pivoted to writing a lot of pretty famous romance novels under a pseudonym. Well, you're dead now. Many lives saved as dedicated researcher warns Cosmopolis City in the nick of time. Tomorrow science. Science community calls to increase funding to the mountain of the mountainhead. Lives will be saved. A string of fires blaze through the suburbs of Sun County. 
A recent tragedy proves once and for all your cats will definitely eat you when you die at home. Oh god. Oh god. <sighs> Military leader mauled by a bear. Usually when that happens, though, the cats die because the human body is quite poisonous. So it's uh, it's bad. It's very bad. Don't it? Yeah. Militia leader mauled by a bear. Interviewing the intrepid crew exploring the depths of the ocean. Yeah, well. We got the red profile. Deathbringer, doom everyone on a single day. Yep. So, yeah, we're gonna get another one on day 13, which we can explore in the next stream. Look at the march of death. Bones of the living ground into dust. A dust storm that suffocates any remaining breaths. Uh, sure. Gaze upon what you have brought, instrument of pain. Don't you think this whole business is remarkably dehumanizing? An uncaring office of eternal bureaucracy, picking and choosing lives. I don't care as long as it gets the job done. These are real people, Reaper. Not pieces of paper with random data printed on them. No one is in control. The fiend devours life with no supervision. And you think I should do something? We should. Shouldn't we? I'm following the red Let profiles. Us know if you come eye to eye with a solution. See you. The cat is not gonna be happy. Grim is there, yes? <laughs> Grim is... <laughs> meow, meow, the cat grumbles at the, at the phone receiver. Grim, I am most disappointed. I had hoped to avoid having this discussion a second time. Then you said that last time! Must I reiterate myself? You cannot mark every person to death. If too many perish, the result will be disastrous. It will undo the whole plan. What is the plan anyway? Grim, hello? Cassie, why is there a question <laughs> error at the most inopportune moment? No! Frustrated meow escapes the cat. I hope my words reach you, even if the reverse is not the case. Understand that this is not a path you wish to take. I will note this down <laughs> as your second warning. Again! There will not be many more. <laughs> Good night, Grim. Gather your wits before you act. Cat glares at you. Uh... All right, that should really be the end now. Thank you all very much for joining me here tonight. I really appreciate you coming here to hang out with me. We will be back in four days, Wednesday, if you live in the United States. We'll either do another chill stream, or we'll just keep playing this game, just so we can finish it. Because, like, we're, 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 we've kind of got the endings, the, the first ending, then we got the ending we really liked. Now we're just ending hunting. So maybe we can just finish this game on Wednesday. I'm not sure I'll think it over. Uh, if you happen to be new here and you enjoyed hanging out with us tonight, if you think I deserve a follow, I'd appreciate that quite a bit. We stream three times a week for approximately two hours. And this stream will be re-uploaded to YouTube tomorrow night, where it will join every single stream I have ever done. Uh, so if there are any you want to catch up on, you can find all of them there. Link is in the About section. And yeah, I did a long overtime because I was just like, ah, I want to keep playing, and I'm also kind of streaking through some of these days really, really quickly. So, yeah, I figured I'd just keep playing a bit of a biggish overtime. But, yeah, so I've definitely been in your guys' ears for quite a while now. Hope uh, the game has been entertaining, that you've enjoyed hanging out here. Uh, so I appreciate uh, your support with every capacity. You know, uh, I hope you have a good afternoon, evening, morning, etc. And I will see you all again soon with, uh, you know, some chill and some death and taxes. Ciao.